When doing the exercise and watching the instruction video at the same time, it is easy to jump between programs with the ALT tab shortcut. Also remember the pause shortcut in YouTube, which is the K key. You can jump 10 seconds either backward or forward with the J and L keys. You will get to Elomake by typing the address straight to the browser. The address is elomake3.laurea.fi. Note that you will have to be logged in to the Laurea network for this to work. When you get into Elomake, click New Form to create a new form. Let's start by adding questions to the form and select the text field as our first one. Text field question is a question type that allows the respondent to fill freely the text field. The header field is the question's title shown to the respondent. If you want a question to be a required one, click on the tick box. All of the questions need to be in a group, background information, study related questions, other information and so on. You can create a new group always when creating a new question. Since this is our first question, let's create a group called Basic Information and click Save. Also consider the fact that the name of the group is visible in the final form. Let's add the next question, which will be a drop-down menu styled question. You can create a choice by clicking the Add button. We are only inquiring between two campuses, so let's add two options. The visible field is what is shown to the respondent. The saved value is the one that is saved to the results. It is recommended to keep the values same or similar. You can use the tab key in the keyboard to jump to the next field. We don't need a new group for the question, so it can go under the basic information field group. The next question will be a checkbox group. Remember to use the tab key to jump to the next field. We want the respondent to be able to answer only to a single choice, so limit the minimum and maximum selections accordingly. Also, we want this question to be in a new group, so let's create a new group.
As our next question, let's create a radio button styled question. Note that you can add adjustment fields to some of the questions. Since the question is related to events, let's make a new group for the question. You can create all of the questions into a single group, but if the form is big and consists of different types of questions, it is good to separate the questions into different groups. As our last actual question, we would like to ask the respondent's contact information, so we will make a text field table styled question which allows more tables of information. Next, let's add a description, where you can add details about the form or other information to the respondents. Note that they won't be able to fill it and the data entered won't be saved in the results. Lastly, we want to ask if the respondents have any greetings towards the organizers, so we'll add a text area.
under the extra settings you can adjust the visible fields width, height and the maximum characters that the respondent can enter. Now since all of the questions are added to the form, we can make the last adjustments. Let's start by going to the form tab and naming the form. The form header is the name of the form and the form identifier is the name that it is saved. In the description, preface and epilogue fields, you can add text, images, links or files. The fields are optional, but may come in handy in some situations. I will add Laurea logo and a link to the form, so it will be a bit more distinguishable for the students. You can add an image by clicking the image button on the toolbar. Note that you will have to upload the image to Elamake through the file manager. In the file manager, click the browse button and select the image from your computer. When you selected the image, click the Lata button. After you click the Lata button, click the image once more to select it. Since the image is pretty big, let's make the dimensions of the pictures a bit smaller. Make sure that the constraint proportions checkbox is selected also. Let's add a link to Laura's webpage in the preface field. Just select the preface area and click the link button. Here you can add the URL and the visible text of the link. In the epilogue, I will write just a thank you for the respondent. When the form is ready, we should preview it. Since everything looks good, we can close the tab and move on. When the form is ready, you still can move, edit and delete the questions and groups from the toolbar on the right, highlighted red here. To make the form public, let's go back to the forms and then click status. Change the form status from not in use to in public use and click save changes.
Since the form is now made public, we can now send it to the respondents. Just copy the URL link of the form so you can paste it into an email. Note that if you don't want the respondents to see all of the other respondents, use the BCC address field in your email, highlighted red here. And now, just paste the previously copied URL link to your email. You can also use the shortcut Ctrl V for pasting. If you want to see the results of the form, click the submissions on the bottom. It will open a sheet of the responses which you can save in different types, but mainly in Excel like shown here. You can also add other editors to the form. Click Edit. And under the Form tab, click Permissions. You can add users by adding their student ID or email to the Management Rights field. You can easily search users by clicking the select users and using the user search. Note that all of the users you wish to give management rights have to be either students or personnel of Laura.